Hello Internet! This video will show a trial project to make a cabriole or Queen Anne leg using a CNC router rotary axis. This video is intended to be a message by present me to future me to help me remember how I did it. One of the key issues is how to transfer the 3D geometry from the design software, which is Fusion 360 in this case, to the CAM software, which in this case is Deskproto. Like many things, it turns out it's very simple, if you know how to do it. The .stl type file is the key. STL is short for stereolithography. It uses hundreds or thousands of small triangular surfaces to represent an approximation of 3D objects. The first step is saving the 3D object created in Fusion as an STL file. The second step is importing the STL to Desproto, which is used to make the rotary tool paths. And the third step is cutting the part on the CNC rotary axis. I usually use Fusion 360 for both design functions as well as toolpath cam functions. But while Fusion has fourth axis rotary capability, it is not available under the free hobbyist license, hence the use of Desproto to make the toolpath for this project. Fusion was used to make the 3D model for the cabriole leg. Another video on my channel has details on that. The current video will just show the process to move the 3D geometry from Fusion to Desproto. Here we are in Fusion 360 showing the geometry of the leg model. To move it to the STL file, the first step is to go into the File drop-down menu and select Export. After Export is selected, a uh, export uh, submenu is shown. Here we're going to select the file type we're going to use to export to, which in this case will be STL, which is the last item in the selection uh, among the selection options. We're going to rename the file to something sim simple, in this case uh, test leg 3, and we will be specifying the file folder to keep the file in, in this case, the download folder. And then we press export. After export is pressed, another menu comes up to uh, show, not menu, but a screen shows up to show progress of the export process. It takes a few seconds. And after it's done, it shows complete. And we uh, are done. In the Desproto software, we're going to select uh, Insert Geometry in that center panel. And then it will just provide us with a, uh, the traditional Windows File Explorer uh, format. And we will navigate to our download folder and our test leg 3 file and select it. And bingo, that fast, our geometry has been imported into Desproto and it is now ready to use uh, the Desproto software to create the toolpaths. Two major toolpaths were made with Desproto. First, a roughing pass, and second, a finishing pass. Both use this solid carbide one-half inch ball nose end mill. This mill has an overall length of four inches. For this project, it is important that it be mounted with a stick out of at least two and seven eighths inches. You will hear in a second how I learned that. Here are three failed earlier attempts. The errors in the first two attempts were due to Mach 3 settings which turned out to be incompatible with the Desproto tool pass. We will go over those Mach 3 settings in a second. The third failed at the very end when inadequate tool stickout caused the tool collet to collide with the near vertical surface of the leg foot. This is when I learned the importance of adequate stickout for this project. 
The collision actually knocked the leg out of the rotary axis. The hole was separately caused by operator error in the start from here process. Let's go over those Mach 3 settings. The first is in config, general config, and these three spaces that are shown in the center of the screen need to be unchecked dealing with rotary axis. A second group of settings is in config tool paths. Here's a group of rotary related settings. This needs to be unchecked. We specify the x-axis and then a third area is checked. And finally on the settings tab be sure to specify a rotation radius of zero. Here is the Douglas fir stock mounted in the CNC rotary axis. The stock is two and three quarter inches square by 17 inches long. The first inch shown by the pencil line is reserved for holding the stock in the lathe chuck. The actual leg project is 16 inches long. The roughing passes have a step over of one quarter inch and are a maximum of one quarter inch deep. There are a total of five roughing pass layers to get the first stock cut down closer to the final surface of the leg geometry. The roughing path strategy is a circular rotary path around the x-axis, each circular path one quarter inch apart and a maximum one quarter inch deep. They are designed to leave 0.15 inches, that's about 5 30 seconds of an inch, from the final surface. The finishing pass will remove that remaining layer. The roughing speed rate is 60 inches per minute and the router speed is 20,000 RPM. One of the tricky bits of the cabriole leg geometry is the fact that some of the cutting has to take place below the axis of rotation. The next few bits of the video show this area, which is located about uh, two or three inches above the top of the foot, and how the uh, CAM software struggled to create tool paths to deal with this tricky area of the leg. And here is the leg after the roughing tool pass were completed.
total machining time for the roughing passes was one hour and seven minutes. Here is the start of the finishing pass. The finishing strategy is also around the x-axis, but with a single spiral or helical shape with a step over of 0 0.03 inches, that's about 1 32nd of an inch. There will be a single pass which removes the 5 32nds of an inch left by the last roughing pass. Finishing path feed rate is 70 inches per minute and the router speed is 20,000 RPM. The indentation on the flats of the leg is actually a bit of the mortise that is contained in the project geometry. And here we are again in that tricky area where cutting has to take place below the axis of rotation. And here is completion of the final finishing pass. The DRO indicates that the total time for machining the finishing pass was 1 hour and 20 minutes. 
It's interesting to note that the A-axis turned a total of 190,439 degrees of rotation. If you divide that by 360, you get 529 rotations. Multiply that by 0.03, the step over, and you get the 16 inch length of the leg. <clears throat> And here is the final result after the finishing pass, which confirms that the 0.03 or 132 inch step over does a pretty good job of providing a finished leg. Just a little sanding and scraping is all that will be required for this to be a completed project.